Hey there, it's Louise from the Gilly Galoo Bird and today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects. It's coming fast to spring and the hummingbirds are beginning to move north. In Eastern Canada, we get the one type of hummingbird, which is the ruby throated. And right now, when I look at my tracker, I see that they're already at Tennessee. So my thoughts are it's time to make sure we can find our hummingbird feeders. And I just wanna go over a few tips and things that you can do to help bring hummingbirds to your yard so that you can enjoy them. We have a good variety of feeders and one of the ones we really like are these that are really good quality that's a polycarbonate. The nicest part of having something with this type of material that it's made of, it won't leach. So when you're putting the nectar in here and you're getting the sun on it daily, it's a higher quality than a plastic. So therefore there's, no, there's nothing that's leaching out of the plastic into your nectar. So I really love all the feeders that we bring in. Quality is one of the things that is very, uh, something we really want to have in our products because it's for the betterment of the birds. So when you look at something like this, you'll see that there is a cup on the inside and then there's the ports that the hummingbird would feed out of. And interesting enough, they do land. Um, it's fun to watch them when they're still. But if you're in a place where you battle either earwigs or you battle uh, ants, this is called a moat. And you put water in there and then you would put your nectar in this part. And that saves you from when the ants come down and they come here, they can't get from here to here because that's filled with water. So each time you go to refill and put your nectar in, make sure to put fresh water. One of the things about is to make sure you clean it well, but do not use soap and water. Hot water is all you need and you can scrub it or wipe it out really well. I'm not sure how well you can see this. There's little nibs right here. If you can just see, they extrude right there. There's nibs that you can get to put on these. And what that helps with is if you have an issue with wasps. The other great thing is the design of these. Is See how they're all raised? It's more than just a pretty design. When it's raining, the, it helps make the rain flow away from the hole as opposed to going right into the nectars. And you will find that in each one of the ones that we bring in. This is another style, a little bit different color, but it too has the amp moat. And when we're talking about wanting to feed the hummingbirds on a window, we have the same thing for a window where you have your ant moat that you fill with water. There's suction cups that go on the back and then you'd put your nectar in here. But when it comes time to refilling it, you're just able to take it out or slide this off so this gets washed as well as this. I think it's very important, especially with hummingbirds, to have a clean product. And, and that is cleaning it out every time you refill it. For those that have lots of hummingbirds that come to your yard, there are ones that you can fill more nectar in and then it goes down to the base. And once again, this part's glass. This part is a really good polycarbonate, which is raised the same as the others. When you do have a hummingbird feeder like this and you're hanging it, 
on a hook, there is no ant moat. And if you still have that pesky problem of ants or earwigs, What we have is an ant moat. There is a hook that goes here that hooks here. You fill this with water, and then you would hang this on your hook. There's your water. Your nectar is free of any of those pesky little ants or earwigs. If you're a patient person, there are these little handheld hummingbirds. And you just, you're out there and you just, quiet and they'll come to you and they will drink right out of this little handheld hummingbird feeder. You know when you want to be in nature why not you know be a part of it and and helping it. it just makes you feel so good. Fun fact about hummingbirds when you have more than one couple in your yard you'll see them zooming in and out of each other it's almost like a battle in flight Hummingbirds are very protective of their food source. So what has been developed here in Canada, we call it a hummingbird swing. It has this red ball and that is what attracts the hummingbirds to it. And you put it in a place where it can watch its food source and it'll sit here and watch its food source and then you're able to see the hummingbird and maybe even grab a few pictures. So it's a fun thing to have in your yard if you want to see them where they're close up, where you can see them close to where your feeder is and maybe you get a few of those pictures that you're looking for. Their, their little hearts go so fast per minute and they're their wings, it's just they're using a lot of energy. So it's important also for them to have nutrition. In the sense where when they get it from flowers, they get all the nutrition they need and the proper nectar. What I like for our hummingbirds is we have a hummingbird food and I believe the hummingbird food that you give is important. It would be to make sure that there's no dye in it. This would be clear and it's been put together by an ornithologist and what this has it in is natural nectars and it also has vitamins and minerals that help the bird and nourish it as opposed to sugar and, and water. As our sugar is, is so over refined, it has little nutritional value in it. So. It's really, it's a powder and you just mix four parts to boiling water. And when it cools down, you refill your hummingbird feeder and then the rest you put in the fridge for the next time that you're going to use it. So when helping anything in nature, it's about making sure it's a quality and that it's good for them. Because we want to work with them and we want to be able to enjoy them without any hindrance to their lives and what they're here to do. Thank you for joining me on this hummingbird trip.